guys, we're gonna do a little review of some hiking pads. As you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six pads. And why do we have so many pads? Um, well, five of us are about to embark on a journey on the Appalachian Trail. So we needed some sleeping pads and I didn't know which ones to get. So basically got one of lots of different kinds and I'm gonna let you know uh, what we think of them. So this will not be like a total review of like, we haven't used them yet to sleep on. They haven't gotten extensive use, but this is kind of just a quick comparison out of the box. Here's what they look like and here's what we think about them and which ones we're gonna take on the trail with us. And then once we start using them, we'll uh, obviously have a lot more to say about them, I'm sure. So just to start, I'll just show you the ones that we're talking about. This is a Thermarest uh, z Light foam pad. And then the rest are blow up air mattresses. So we have the Sleep and Go. We have um, the High Hiker. We have a Powerlix Therma Rest Neo Air Extra Light and a hiking bike. All right, so we'll tell you real quick what we think. Right now, just so you know, they're in the order of basically thickness. So the foam pad is obviously the thinnest. These three, uh, green, orange, blue, I would say are pretty similar as far as like how much cushion they, they give. For specific details of their dimensions and, and that stuff, um, you can look that up online, but this is just in general. Then the Thermarest and this green hike and bike, these are a little bit thicker. Um, so they keep you up off the ground and obviously a little bit more insulation on those. All right, so just real quick, uh, let's see what we think of these air mattresses. So we're gonna start with Asher here on the uh, green one. What do you think? I like the Sleep and Go because first off it tapers and I think it fits me, like how I like to sleep. Okay. And it's also, I think, comfortable. So. Okay. Yeah. So you can see they are all pretty much the same size. Like I said, you might look up the exact dimensions. We, any of these that we got are considered regular. We didn't get any small or any extra large. The hike and bike green is a little bit longer than the sleep and go green, but they're pretty close. Okay, bro, what do you think about this one? Uh, I like the high hiker sleeping pad because it is comfortable, keeps me off the ground, and it does not taper. I prefer my legs to be spread out a little bit more. And it's when once you deflate it and squish it up, it fits into this little bag, and it's, for the most part, fairly light. Okay, great. Um, yeah, I don't think that I'm mistaken in that we don't have a bag for the sleep and go. Now, some people don't care because they don't use the bag anyway, but just uh, thought I'd make a note of that. All right, what do you think, E? I like the Power Licks because, well... Because it matches your outfit? Yeah, and, <laughs> and it's comfortable and big, and I like big sleeping pad. <laughs> it comes with a inflatable bag to inflate the uh, air mattress just in case you don't like blowing it up. Mm -hmm. And this is what it rolls up into. Okay. So that size, this one actually, well, we can show you in the end. It's a, it, it's a little bit bigger obviously the pad is bigger so even when it's in its bag it's a little bit bigger than say the orange one or the green one yeah and it's fairly light okay and so we think that these three the sleep and go the high hiker and the power licks they're all about the same thickness they're all about the same like comfort level all right ben all right so this is the thermarest neo air uh extra light uh, this, I think, is the lightest one out of all of them, and I also think that it's the most comfortable, but with that said, it does make a little bit of noise. It does crinkle a little bit, and 
other than that, I don't think there are too many uh, issues. Um, it does come with a bag to blow it up. Just fill it up and then push the air in, which makes it very quick to blow up. And it does fit into this little bag, so it's very compact and light. Great. Yeah, the Neo Light, the Neo Air Extra Light, I believe, is going to be our lightest pad packed up. Um, but the size of the pad in the carry bag, or you know, is pretty much the same. They're all fairly comparable in that sense. But then we have this hike and bike um, pad, which what do you want to say about that one, Benny? This one is the uh, thickest and highest off the ground, and I think it probably would keep you very warm if it was cold, but it does take quite a while to blow up and it does not have a, uh, a bag like this one does. And it is a little bit heavier than some of the other ones. So personally, I don't think that I would want to bring this onto the trail just because it would take a while to blow up. Okay, and I will also say that it's a little bit bigger. Once it's rolled up, it's a little bit bigger. It has this cool, it has a, a little um, thing here to hook it up with. To When you roll it up, it's like already attached. You can um, fasten it, and so it stays nice and rolled up. But it does end up being a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier. So we have decided that the hike and bike does not uh, make it on the backpacking trip. However, if you were just camping, you know, car camping or um, didn't have a ton of other gear, it, it's definitely comfortable and definitely going to keep you warm. So it's a great pad. We're not saying anything bad about it. It just doesn't pack up as small and light as these other pads. So that's um, kind of why we made that decision. Now these other pads, you guys push on them and see, do they crink, do these crinkle? Like, I mean, they crinkle a little bit, but it's, it's not as loud. The Thermarest is more like a bag of chips. These just make a, a teeny bit of noise if you were to roll over or something. However, I do hear that you either get used to that or you can let a little bit of the air out and uh, it doesn't, make a, quite as much of a crinkle noise. So let me tell you the prices of these, but just to give you an idea. The foam pad, the Thermarest foam pad is, is $30. And Asher, show real quick, I mean, how easy it is to pack that up. It just folds. Most people are pretty familiar with these. So if you're like, no nonsense, you want something light and you want it easy to set up camp and easy to break down camp, that's your pad but it is the thinnest and obviously it doesn't pack up quite as small as these other ones. So that's about $30, give or take. Um, this green sleep and go was about $40. This orange high hiker was about $30. The Powerlix outdoors was $37. The Thermarest Neo Air Extra Light is the recommended popular pad amongst through hikers and it comes in at $180. The hike and bike um, came in at about $35, but I think that was a sale price. I think the hike and bike actually goes for more like 60, 50 or $60. So, Obviously, a huge price difference between the Thermarest and uh, the others. The Thermarest is kind of the uh, luxury pad and the lightest pad to carry. All right, so we just rolled them up. And as far as packing them up goes, I would say that they're all pretty comparable. Yeah. I think it took about the same amount of time to deflate and roll up each each one of them. I don't think there's a huge difference in that. And so here's what they look like packed up. Um, like I said, I don't think we have a bag for this one. So um, we just I just used a hairband to uh, hold it. And as far as size goes, this can you can see this is a 32 ounce Nalgene. Hold it up next to this ash, so you can compare the size. Um, it's pretty close. It's a hair thinner and a little bit taller. 
than a Nalgene bottle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, and then the High Hiker, Brody hold that up next to this. Yep. Um, same, basically the same. It's about the same as an Nalgene bottle, but a little taller. And then we got the Parallax is uh, maybe uh, even a little taller. But it's a lot more thin. Yep, okay. Then we have the Thermo Rest, which I'd say is mm, pretty close. It's actually a little, well, you could squish it down even more. But in the, in the bag, it's about the same. And then um, this one, the Hike and Bike is a little bit taller, even though we folded it in thirds about the same around but again this one's a little bit heavier and a little bit bigger so we're just not going to use it for this particular long-term backpacking trip but it is an awesome pad at a good price and probably the thickest and warmest this is by far the lightest yeah. Thermarest is by far the lightest I'd say these three are pretty similar so just to put it in perspective for you I made Benjamin blow up every single one of these so that we had a consistent person to, to see what we thought. And all of these pads, without using the inflatable bag, just blowing into them with your breath, all of these took, basically, I would, I would say 15 breaths. Mm -hmm. So I think 10 to 15 breaths on average to blow these things up without using the bag. And for me, I can't do that. I get lightheaded, but that's why I made Ben do it. Um, and so this one obviously took more than that, but it is a bigger, thicker pad, so you would expect that. Um, yeah. If you were taking this, say, car camping, and you had a pump and you could just blow it up, this that'd be awesome. Um, Using the bag, it, it takes, like, when you put air in it, and then you put it in here to blow that up, it usually takes two and a half to three. And it takes... Uh, you know, a couple of minutes to break them down and roll them up, and I think we'll get better as that, better at that as we go. Yeah. So, all right, uh, I think that's it for now. Have a great day.